Hello friends. Today we will be discussing on velocity product console component walkthrough, wherein we will cover in briefly what all components are involved and how to use them. So my name is Suresh Vinjari and welcome back to my channel. If you are keen to learn in velocity stuff, please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell notification for new videos. So let's get started. So moving to the rules section. So we'll explore uh, how the rule set be created, how rule set is associated to rule, how rule is associated to dimension, and how rule dimension is set to scope and action. Right. So let's go ahead and explore. Uh, again, so there will be subsequent uh, videos we'll be creating and uh, we'll be having all this created. So this is just an exploration session um, and walk through our velocity product console. So I will go and search what all component uh, rules have been created. Uh, let's pick one platinum account rule set. Here, this is the rule set, which is of type qualification, right? And we are giving failure message. So failure message will be uh, only given at the rule set level, not at the other level, right? So however, at rule set uh, rule level also there is a failure message, but we will be giving it at the rule set level. All right. Uh, so rule set has a uh, children rules wherein the rules will be uh, checked here. No? The multiple rules can be added. So this is the rule associated to the uh, platinum accounts rule set. So let's open this. All right. So this is the rule name where we are again uh, maintaining the naming convention, your expression will be and most of the time. And a rule condition where a rule will be checking with a dimension, right? So if I see her, so this is the context dimension, right? So rule condition, context dimension, uh, will be checking with actual value, right? And we will mention what is the fail level. Is it hard fail, soft pass or soft fail? Here, uh, failure message as I'm mentioning, uh, but we will be using always a rule set level. Right? So let's go ahead and see um, what is there in this context dimension. To go to uh, check the context dimension. So here, right, uh, so this is the context dimension. In this context dimension, uh, okay, so one thing to notice is should not give any space in between our context dimension, right? And uh, you can select multiple things here, list type and all that stuff. And, and yeah, so one thing to note, uh, if you are using the context dimension in your DC APIs, uh, you should be checking this cacheable mode. Uh, you should be providing default value and what is the possible values, right? Available values and this context uh, context dimension will be associated to context mapping, wherein we are we are providing what type of scope it is. It is uh, account scope, uh, uh, order scope, opportunity scope, right? So that will be defined. So this is a, any account scope. Here we will be uh, giving that expression. We are referring to the particular, you know, the, the SLA, SLA field of the account. So we are giving a source expression. So this is where we will map. So all in all, it will be like, all right, uh, we have uh, our rule set. Our rule set is calling our rule. Right, uh, our rule will be called uh, a rule condition condition the rule condition It will be called a uh, context 
dimension. And context dimension will be yours. Context scope and context mapping. So uh, the implementation wise, it will go uh, upwards, but while tracking, it has to come uh, downwards. Right, uh, so last section. So this facet and all, uh, whatever the facets being used, uh, the velocity per console will be shown up here uh, at the attribute level, what at the general properties level, the layout hierarchy level, right? So uh, this, can be, uh, this can be customized based on our needs, but uh, most of the time we will not touch as it, it's we requirement that to modify. Most of the times if at all we are modifying, it will be on the product, uh, product section. 